Hey guys, for this portion of your training, we will be reviewing your patient list. So from your dashboard, the main menu on the left-hand side, you will select patients. This will take you to your patient table. In this patient table, you may add a new patient, add a new requisition for an existing patient, or search for any patient by first name, last name, date of birth, or date of creation. And you may edit that patient uh, or do various things. So we will use an example, type in that patient's first name, last name, and hit that yellow search button. It will populate that patient. Uh, under action, you can select view. From there, it will bring up all of that patient's information as well as a small requisition table with any tests that have been ordered for that specific patient. I wanted to go back to, to see one that has some tests. So we will select another patient, select search, you can hit view here. As you can see under here, you will see the tests that were ordered for him, the type of tests, the physician that ordered it, the status of that test, date of collection, etc. You may view that requisition to further analyze that, or you can appear uh, above patient overview. You can select account, and from there you may update any of that patient information that's necessary. You can update their payment details, or you can upload any files that you would like to have in your portal regarding this specific patient. Again, the overview will just be a patient overview and the requisition table, including all the tests ordered for that patient. Back to your patient list, just select patient. Up here in this green button, you see it says add new patient. You will select that. And this is where you can input any new patient information. you will just select all of the demographic information necessary for this specific patient. Once all of that has been fulfilled, you will click submit and that patient will go into your patient list. We'll do an example for you so that you can see. Once again, once all that information is selected, see I missed something, gotta make sure it's all selected or it will notify you. You'll hit submit and it will tell you that the patient information was added successfully. You can click patients up here in this little menu bar. And again, it will show you all of your patients. And you can select that patient's name, hit enter or search the yellow button and it will again bring up that patient. Now, if you would like to add a new requisition for an existing patient, select new requisition, new universal. From there, you can select the provider that is ordering the test. And you can actually just type in the patient's name and it will populate here where you can select it and it will auto populate all of that demographic information so you don't have to type it in every time. Super convenient. Now, you will need to select the race, but everything else will auto populate. Again, you can change that billing information. If it is client bill this time, that's fine. Go ahead and select that. You would then select the specimen information when it was collected. Uh, who collected it, if they were fasting, what type of uh, collection it is, the specimen storage type, the specimen shipping type, 
you would input the shipment tracking information here if you would like, it is optional. And then from there, you would select the testing option that you would like to choose for this patient. Go down and here you have the option to save it for later, move it to the provider signature, which means that it's just going to be on hold until that provider signs it. If you're not the provider filling out this requisition, that's a great option for you. Uh, if the patient is with you, they can go ahead and sign it here. You also have the option to type in their name and use any one of these options to add a signature, um, whatever they choose. And then you can select add signature. It will do that for you. And we'll just say that we are the provider doing this. So we'll go ahead and sign as the provider. From there, you would select continue. And as you can see, that requisition has been created and submitted. From there, you may print it off uh, to ship with the samples. As you can see here, the samples that are received without a requisition will be rejected. So you can save that. And then from there, you are able to again uh, confirm all of this information is correct. Print the requisition, print the shipping label. Uh, zebra print is um, if you have a zebra print to print um, and put directly on the specimen tubes, that is an option for you as well. And that completes the patient. Uh, creating a requisition for an existing patient option. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 678-736-6374, extension 1 for customer service. And you can also give us an email at info at precisionpointdiagnostics.com. Thank you so much.